Okay, Joel. So, speaking ahead of Montpellier's visit in the Heineken Champions Cup, first start of the season for you last Sunday, and, and, and what a start. So, how much of a enjoyment was it to be part of that game over in Toulon? Nah, yeah, it, it was phenomenal. Um, the atmosphere was incredible. Uh, it was a big opportunity for, for myself. I've never played in Champions Cup rugby before. Um, I know there's a few other boys that were in the similar boat. Um, and it was just great that we made the most of it and, and, and took took that opportunity. Um, you know, a big thing for us is that all our hard work last season has got us rewards to be in competitions like the Champions Cup. And you know, we've got to make the most of them and, and enjoy every minute of it. You're a professional rugby player, so you know, performing in games like that and in big stages like that, it's part of the job. But with the way the game panned out and sort of with the with the sort of hostile element of the atmosphere <coughs> that was coming through towards the end. Was there any sort of more levels of self-control that you had to do to block all that out and, and focus, or was it just a, a, another day at the office? Yeah, I think with with my kicks, uh, majority of them were in front of the post. So I think in my, in my head, I was probably thinking, "Christ, I should get these." So I wasn't too worried about about, about the fans. It was more about what I needed to do to to execute that skill, and it's something that as a group we're really working on is is executing our skill set time and time again. Um, you know, Dean, Dave, Wellesley, all, all the coaches are on us so that you know we've got to we've got to execute every time and, and every time we've got to to implicate what we're trying to do and, and, and stuff like that. So it, it was more of a question of just keep repeating what you've you've done previously and, and hopefully it'll come good and, and, and thankfully it did. And aside from the result, what's the main takeaway from, from Sunday's game? Uh, I think you know it was, a, it was a great win. I think, as you say, it was a good result. But the most Im Im important thing for us is that one to twenty-three, we understood what the game plan was, and 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 we executed it. Everyone got their role bang on, and 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 it, and it allowed us to win the game. It's about now doing our homework for Montpellier, understanding what we need to do to win the game, and 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 doing it all again. You know, straight away after that game, obviously we had a sing song, but focuses on Montpellier, what we got to do, how we're going to do it. Right, let's get down to doing it this week. So speaking of Sunday's opposition, what are they going to be bringing on, on the weekend? I think very similar to, to, to Toulon, you know, they're going to bring that physicality. Um, you know, they've got a bit more structures in place probably than what Toulon had, but, you know, they're a French side. French flair's been, been ever affluent in the game for as long as I can remember. They're going to offload the ball. They're going to chuck it up. They're going to put it in behind you. They're going to do all sorts. we just got to be expect everything and then just worry about what we do when we've got the ball, controlling controlling the territory, controlling how we play with the tempo and, and executing, as I say, you know, we do that and we put ourselves in a good place to, to, to win the game. It was a close run thing for Edinburgh against Montpellier over in France last weekend. Is that an indicator of how competitive Pool 5 is? Yeah, I know. I mean, uh, I think it, in the Champions Cup and even in the, the Gallagher Premiership, Anyone now can win on their day, and you know you you've got to be at a hundred percent week in week out. And if you're off that five percent, as we've unfortunately found in our Gallagher Premiership stuff, you, you you're going to come on the wrong side of things. So I think it just shows that rugby in general is getting more competitive. You know, it's more physical. Uh, attacks are better. You know, it's just how we can stay focused and 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 compose at the same time and keep executing every time. And how much of a motivator is that going into Sunday? I mean, I know everybody, you know, we take a game at a time, we don't get too carried away with things, but a good result on Sunday does put you in a, in a good position heading into those back-to-back -back games against Edinburgh in December. So, Yeah, absolutely, mate. But at the same time, I think we're just focusing on the game itself. It's, a, it's another game of rugby. It's another chance to, for us to express ourselves, to, uh, to, to put our hands up, you know, for those boys that are coming into the side. Um, I think it's a chance for us to, to just implement our game plan, which is it's a good game plan to play. Boys enjoy it, so I think we just focus on what we can do to win the game, and whatever the table is at the end of the end of the game on the weekend, we'll obviously celebrate it if we're on the right side of it. And finally, if there's anybody out there sort of debating whether to come down on uh, on Sunday, what do you say to them to encourage them down? Oh, I think you know. I mean, it was exciting against Toulon. Uh, I think if you spoke to any any Geordie fan that went out there, they would tell you they had the, one of the best days of their lives and. There's no reason why that can't be the same against Montpellier. You know, the, it's a team filled with world-class players. You know, they, they've won World Cups, they've played everywhere, they've played in in Test series. You know, and it's it's exciting for us to play against those guys, and I'm sure it'll be very exciting to, to watch those guys in action and and hopefully see a good Newcastle Falcons win.